Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to be doing a little overview and mod video of my Yamaha FZ07 or MT07 depending on where you are in the world. Just going over some of the mods I have on here and giving you guys a little walkthrough. First off, all the mods I talk about are going to be linked in the description below if you want to pick them up. And if you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments as well and I'll do my best to answer them. So let's go ahead and get started. So this bike started off silver and blue, but I went ahead and wrapped it matte black. It's a rather cheap mod, but it changes the bike completely. Gives it a lot more aggressive look and looks a lot, look, it actually makes the bike look a lot bigger. So I wrapped it matte black and gave it some gloss black decals just to give it some contrast. Honestly, one of my favorite mods I've done to this bike so far. We'll start from the front and move our way back. This is the GV windscreen. This is the A2118 model. This windscreen helps a lot at lower speeds, but at higher speeds, it's not that helpful. I'll be doing a full review on this and a comparison between a cheaper windscreen in one of my next videos also. So stay tuned for that. Up front, I also have the Barracuda signal lights. These are super well built and super bright. So I run them on the front and the back of my bike and no complaints there. These are the D-axis driven racing mirrors. These mirrors are super expensive. I believe they're $100 a piece, but they look really good on this bike. They match the bike perfectly and they don't vibrate all that often. So I can't complain too much about them. Only thing is, is the price, but I went ahead and linked a few cheaper ones down below. Um, also up top, I have the Pro Taper handlebars. These are a must have mod for the FZ07. Reason for that is that they change the bike completely and give it a lot different feel. It's a lot more aggressive, a lot more wider. And honestly, I really like the feel of them and the look of them. I didn't like the stock handlebars. So I went ahead and changed these or changed them out to these. And I don't think I'll ever be going back to stock. Along with the Pro Taper bars, they have the Pro Taper handlebar grips. These are the pillow top grips. The good thing about these is that they're super cheap. So when they wear out for about 10, 15 bucks, you can go ahead and swap them out for brand new ones. Also underneath the grip, I have an R6 throttle tube. Honestly, the best mod for this bike you can get. Super cheap. I recommend getting the OEM throttle tube as it changes the uh, rotation of the throttle tube from 90 to 60 degrees. So it doesn't give you more horsepower, but it changes the complete feel of the bike. Moving on down, I have a radiator uh, guard down there. Also another mod I think every bike should come with because making it makes cleaning the radiator so much easier. Also have frame sliders, got the Evotech frame sliders here and the axle sliders in the front and in the rear. The rear ones act as spools also in case you want to lift up your back tire. So I highly recommend them. And also they're pretty good just in case your bike does go down. You kind of want to protect as much as you can. Moving on to the exhaust down here, I have the Acroprovic full titanium racing exhaust with the baffle out. I have never ran the baffle in. I have put the baffle in to hear the sound of it, but it sounds stock. And personally, if you're paying $1,300 Canadian uh, for an aftermarket exhaust, I would want to hear it. So I run it without the baffle and I think it's one of the best sounding exhausts for this bike. So definitely a must have. To run the exhaust, I also have a power commander under the hood. Um, that is the Power V Power Commander with a map off their website. Moving on back, I have the brake reservoir relocator. I whipped this up myself just out of some carbon fiber. And I did that mainly because I don't like the look of the rear uh, foot pegs and I don't ride with someone else all that often. So super easy mod, super, e super cheap to do. You can even make one yourself or buy a couple off Amazon and they're pretty cheap. Also in the back, I have a Yoshimura Fender Eliminator kit. Super high quality, super well built, and I think it is pretty expensive, but it comes with a super bright LED light in the back. And I think most countries, you need a LED light for your plate, so highly recommend it as it is super bright and I never, never had any problems. So I think that's all the visual mods on the bike. I have one other mod under the hood other than that power commander. That mod is an alarm system and I'll show you it right now. 22 bucks on Amazon, $15 on the, in the US. Go ahead and arm it. It'll beep once to tell you that it's armed. And the way this alarm works is that if you hit it once, it will go off. Or if you hit it once, the alarm will sound, but then it will go off right away. The reason for that is just in case someone bumps into it, it's not going to go off if you're not there. But if you go ahead and hit it again right after that and try to move it, then the alarm will stay on. So I'll just go ahead and show you that. As you can see, the alarm went on, but then turned off. If I hit it again, the alarm stays on until you use the key fob to turn it off. 
honestly, $22 Canadian, $16 US, I believe. Best mod I've done to this bike. Just gives it an extra le little level of protection and I can't complain too much. So that is the mods on my Yamaha FZ07. If you guys have any questions or concerns, go ahead and list them down in the comments below and I will go do my best to answer them. Feel free to subscribe. I'm getting a GoPro um, in the next couple of weeks, so I'm going to be doing some ride videos. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Talk to you guys later, and yeah, see ya.